Hey guys, Corey here. We're on another adventure. This time we're at uh, Yatesville Lake in Louisa, Kentucky. Um, we decided to take a shorter trail this time around, which is uh, the Mary Ingalls Trail System. They gave us a map, and it doesn't even have that trail on the map, but we did see the starting point of the trail, we think. So, uh, just keep that in mind if you decide to hike this trail. So, um, today I'm going to be uh, trying out the uh, Mountain House uh, freeze dried granola with milk and blueberries. It says it takes less than 10 minutes, just add water. Um, open package. Uh, Add one half cup of cold water to the pouch, stir thoroughly to wet all ingredients and enjoy right out of the pouch. It's got two servings and there's 250 calories per serving, so we're looking at 500 calories, not bad. So uh, we finally found the trailhead. Uh, Mary Ingalls trail system is 2.5 miles. It, it's, it's still not on the, uh, the map anywhere, but uh, at two and a half miles we shouldn't get lost. But uh, I'll see you up the road. I'm going to have me some water and some of uh, my granola. So um, we're about 100 yards into the trail trail keeps leading up and up you can see it's really thick dense pretty cool looking trees though dead and spooky <laughs> still eating on my granola as we walk it's pretty good a little pricey though I think I could uh, buy me some powdered milk and blueberries and granola for cheaper than that ah looks like we're at our first uh, trail signs here this one says the overlook loop which is 0.75 miles and this one is the connector trail which is 0.5 miles <laughs> None of it says Mary Ingalls Trail. Uh, on the map, does it say Overlook or anything like that? I think it just says, like, Map Trail, or Trail A and Trail B. Yeah. Which one you want to do? Eh, uh, we can do the Overlook Trail. Maybe it might overlook some nice vistas. You got to work for those views, Brett. I work for the <laughs> Like you said, this is hiking, not a leisurely stroll. It's still not too bad. Okay, it's kind of okay. It is, it really is. That's why we got to do at least one of those major ones a month or so. That way, these little ones just seem like a breeze. <laughs> really tall grass. And you need to watch out for snakes big time in here. Nobody probably hikes this trail very often, so... Probably why it's so overgrown. 
Did you eat your ice cream sandwich, Brett? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, it's good. He got him a uh, ice cream sandwich from the same company that made my uh, sandwich. Not my sandwich, but my granola. How was your granola? It was actually really good. This is pretty cool through here. Looks like we're getting ready to go up again. Yeah, it don't look too steep though. <laughs> we keep this up, Brad. We're going to be like really conditioned, you know. Yeah. Well, that's the whole point of it for me. Get out, get healthy, and uh, see the world. Put more input in my brain than output. Tall grass. Tall grass again. Pretty neat to hear. I think I see water, Brett. Yeah. Well, this was the Overlook Trail, right? Yep. I guess that means, means they're overlooking the lake. Oh, yeah. It feels good through here. i tell you what. After hiking for a while... I've come to realize that I really like uh, evergreen trees better than I do the conifer trees. Just, they have a nice bark to them and there's not a lot of leaves on the ground. It's just pine needles. So I guess we made it to uh, the part where they call it the overlook. Um, it's overlooking Yatesville Lake. And it's really pretty. It drops off here. <laughs> Don't want to get too close. Actually, you know what, Brett? What? This is Yatesville Lake right here. This is the backwater of it. Yatesville Lake is across the highway over there. Oh, man, I should have had breakfast here. This would be the perfect spot, really. <laughs> All right, we're going to hang out here for a few minutes, and then we'll be back out on the uh, trail again. Yatesville, the tune over there. Hey, look, they got a bench out here. Yep, Yatesville, Lagoon Overlook. Ah. Now this would be the perfect spot to have a lunch. You know what? I think I'm going to have my ice cream now. 
for you, dog boy. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, um, I'm getting ready to eat an ice cream sandwich. It's the um, Mountain House uh, Metropolitan Ice Cream. This is the same ice cream that they uh, said that the astronauts ate. But I've done further research, and they say that the astronauts never had this ice cream. Did you know that, Brett? No. What they call astronaut ice cream is a big lie. So, after opening it, you uh, get this little package here. And it looks like it's already broken up. Uh, yours will probably come out looking like that. It, it's, you know, it's got strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. It's all broken up. Uh, you can have a piece if you want it. I'm going to try the strawberry. Smells good. It smells like strawberries. It's not bad. It's weird. It kind of has like a consistency of like a marshmallow. Like, like a Lucky Charms marshmallow, wouldn't you say? Yeah. But it also tastes like milk. It has like a milk taste to it. Actually, the vanilla tastes just like milk. I think. Yeah. Chocolate's not very good. I can't even begin to describe what it tastes like. It's almost like burnt coffee. I don't know. They don't taste very good though. I'll say the strawberry is my favorite. It tastes like milk, but it's got a hint of strawberries. It reminds me of when I used to get a bowl of strawberries, cut them up, put them in a bowl, pour a little bit of sugar on them, and pour milk on top of them. Eat it that way. And then after it, you drink like the strawberry flavored milk. It was awesome. Have you ever done that, Brett? No. Can't do that anymore, but <laughs> back when I was a kid, that was awesome. All right, so I just consumed about 550 calories that's probably what i'm going to burn out here so probably come out even all right i'm going to put this away and head back out on the trail and see you guys there This moss feels like carpet. Yeah. <laughs> I know it. Well, let's go that other direction. Well, seeing as how this is the only direction we got. That's probably what it is. We come out this way and then we go the other direction. So, I was wrong 
on the whole leisurely stroll this was. We just came up this hill here. It was pretty much, uh, went 90, 80 degree grade or something like that. And uh, almost had to crawl to get up here. But, you can tell we're pretty high. Hey man, you high? <laughs> I'm high on life. Actually, you know what? T-shirt. I'm high on mountains. I thought we'd get a good view once we got up to this point here, but it looks like we just go back down again. Oh. I'm going to go off the beaten path. See what's over this way. And we got nothing. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought you were like falling down the side of the cliff. That's what it looked like. <laughs> Find you a nice little resting spot. Yeah. Oh. Surprised we haven't seen any snakes out here. That'd be what the third trail I've been on this year that I haven't seen a snake. Usually, every any time I go out, I see at least one. Yeah, it's, 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 it's <laughs> seeing a snake now. Actually, we haven't seen any wildlife once we got up here. Um, the map they gave us, I'll let you see it, says uh, the wildlife checklist, and you can check off the animals. Uh, gives you like the tracks. Um, but they say they have deer, squirrel, raccoon, possum, fox, crow, groundhog, bobcat, coyotes, mink, bullfrog, skunk, turtle, turkey, grouse, snake, ground squirrel, dove, red bird, blue jay, duck, and goose. Duck, duck, goose. Uh, yeah, we haven't seen any of them. There's a couple of them I wish I didn't see. <laughs> so we go through there. Hmm. Looks like the trail goes. Looks like... What is it? Uh, not this way. Oh, that was a little strenuous. There's lots of tall grass here at Yatesville. If you're worried about snakes, uh, definitely be wary of this trail. We've been met with lots of, of hills ever since we hit the 0.5 connector trail. Okay. Alright. 
I'm seeing uh, downhill. It seemed like we walked further than the last thing that was 0.75. Yeah. Yeah, we just now hit a mile. <laughs> Seems uh, a lot longer than that. Of course, everything does in, in the woods, and especially going uphill, you're not really covering a lot of distance. I like these little baby ferns. I think those are cool. Anytime I see them. <clears throat> well, we come to another bench in the middle of nowhere. And a sign that says we can either go that way or that way. And no names of the trail. And there's also looks like a straight trail through there too. I have a feeling the car might be that way, but I don't know. Scout around a little bit. See anything? Well, the direction I was going, it kept going down that way. So, I don't know. Because Kentucky Parks, you really got to get on your ball about marking your trail. Just an arrow is not going to do it. You can see the lake through there, though. You know it's left. <laughs> as long as we make a left turn up here at some point in time, you know we're going in the di right direction. <laughs> yeah, but the other one I was following, like, uh, it went down. It was going down that way. Found the frog pond. Nice little bench here too.
Oh, I just saw a frog. It earned its name. guys um, looks like we uh, made it um, we're heading back to the car now um, we walked it just a little over a mile I think mile and a half seemed like a lot longer than that um, we've seen a few things that was pretty cool ah just got attacked by a dragonfly <laughs> Now it's just a bunch of grass. But uh, my overall impression of uh, late uh, Yatesville uh, Lake trail system is uh, eh, it's mediocre. Um, I didn't like the tall grass that we had to go through. Um, not a lot to see. The frog pond would have been awesome had we had more time to probably just stick around and have lunch or something, enjoy it. Um, but we came, we saw, we conquered Yatesville Lake. Until next time, Corey out. So, uh, which trail do you want to do next? In my mind, we conquered Carter Cave. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's still several other trails up there. They're not as long as the one we went on, but we may revisit that at some point. Um, but I do want to change of scenery, though. You know, we've been to uh, Yatesville couple times this year we went to uh, Carter Cave. Greenbow I've been there a couple times. And I, I'd really like to do the uh, Lakeshore Trail at Lake Vesuvius in Ohio. It's in a different state. Um, I'm sure the uh, like the foliage and the ground and everything. Yeah would be different. I'm not sure if there's any elevation over there or not, but you know it is Ohio. It's not known for elevation. So it may be seven miles, but it could be a quick seven miles.